Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Sunday Special Sweets. Today is the start of our Christmas going forward. Every week now will be some sort of Christmas sweet. Some sort of candy, some sort of fudge, and today we're going to start it out with chocolate covered cherries. Now, I've taken my cherries out, and as you can see, I'm letting them drain, and I pat them a little, and then I'm going to go through and take these ones that are not in very good shape and um, put them aside, because I just want to use these nice round berries or cherries. I don't want to use any that are half or um because they go through the pitting process and sometimes the machine isn't very nice to them um because that's doing them all at once so you're not going to get perfect cherries they get busted open they do they get busted open and what you're going to want to do is just kind of pick through them and look and i really cut my recipe in half um the full recipe is two and one half cups of confectionery sugar, one fourth cup of butter, a half, um, a half a teaspoon of vanilla and a tablespoon of milk. So what I've done is I put a fourth, one and a fourth cups of powdered sugar in here and I did a half, one eighth of a cup, sorry about that, one eighth of a cup of butter and I'm going to do about a half a little less than a half of a teaspoon of vanilla and then I'm going to put in two teaspoons of milk and then I'm going to beat it up that was probably it I think I got uh, and I'm just gonna run the mixer through it here Now, why am I doing it so early? I'm doing it early because these need to sit and they need to be, um, they need to sit in the refrigerator and they need to, and I'm trying to think of the word, they have to like season. And what it is is that this powdered sugar and butter mixture needs to get together with the cherry juice and liquefy um, after it's been dipped in chocolate. So that's why, let's see if I can get this together with my hands. After it's been dipped in chocolate, I will put them in the refrigerator until right before Christmas and then I'll pull them out. And they'll be ready. I usually try to bring that stuff. I was giving them of gifts. I would get them out the day before I was going to give them and pack them and put them in some nice decorative stuff and um, little cups and stuff and put them in a package or a box. If I was just serving them here at home, I'd get them out probably Christmas Eve. And they'll last a good couple months in the refrigerator. So, you know, you can make these, used to make them for Valentine's Day. I used to make all kinds of chocolates and I would give them away at Valentine's Day to the kids and my husband. I taught my girlfriends to do it so they could give to their husbands. And see, it just comes together, kind of does a bowl, um, a ball, and it just melts together. And this is what you want really easy to come together and there it is and I'm just gonna work it a little bit it's a sugar dough you can make all kinds of stuff with this sugar dough you can color it you can do all kinds of stuff and it will harden and there it is it's just a nice dough and that's what I want now what you're gonna do is you're gonna break off about a teaspoon and I flatten mine out, I put the cherry in it, and I just wrap it up. Just don't try to squeeze the cherry. 
I'm not going to do a bunch of them. Sean and I don't need them, and I'm not going to. I'll put some of the cherries back in the jar. But see, that's what you do. You can just take off the amount that you want, that you think should be at least a teaspoon. And I flatten it out to begin with. And then I just wrap it up in it. Bring up your sides. We're going to put these in the refrigerator. And I'm going to get them cold. They're easier to, they're easier to dunk into the chocolate. You can't play with it too much because if you do, it'll start getting soft and you'll bring out the juices of the cherries and it'll start to melt because this is all going to melt together and this is going to be your, this white dough is going to be what you foam, what forms into the liquid center of your cherry. There's another one I won't use. See, I like the nice, perfect ones that I can just fold up. And what I'm going to do is, here in a minute, I'm going to pop those into the freezer so I can, and I'll melt my chocolate. And I use um, an almond bark. If I was using regular chocolate, I mean, it is chocolate. And if I was using regular chocolate, I would have to add um, shortening to it. So instead, I just use this. There they are. I'm just going to push these into the freezer. Don't look at my freezer. Now we're going to pop this into the microwave. And I am going to do it at minutes. But... I'm going to turn around and stir it every 30 seconds. So, okay, so my chocolate's melted. This doesn't take that long in the microwave. I'm going to use a toothpick and I'll put it all in there. And I'm going to put it like this. And you want it to make sure, even the hole, you want to make sure that it's covered. The reason being is that you do not want any holes so the liquid will run out. And you can do like a little swirl on top. Oh, and that's a little better. And then you need to work fast. If we drop it, just find it. Pull it out, that chocolate is warm. So you want to get it out of there as fast as you can. And if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just filling in a hole. And that's what you have to do. You can sit here and let it drain a little bit and then set it down. If you like a little feet on it, you can do that too. You see that has a big hole. And we'll just go like this and cover it. And it's starting to firm up. That's what I said. I might have to heat this up again. It's starting to get to the point where it might need to be heated back up. So I'll work with it very fast. Now the leftover chocolate, and I don't have any, I used to take and make chocolate covered pretzels with it or um, mix some peanuts or some Rice Krispie treats in there. You never, you never ever ever run out of uh, stuff you can mix in with your chocolate so you don't waste it. Um, my niece and I make chocolate covered pretzels and this is what we use there we go and there's the ones I've done and then see they're already starting to harden 
And you can take this up and maybe trim it a little bit, the foot that comes on it. But we're going to let them sit and let them harden up. And when we're done, we'll come back and we'll pack them up. I'll see you in a few. Okay, I was looking at these. Welcome back. And you see this? It's leaking through. So what you got to do... So I didn't throw my chocolate out. But you got to put something on it. I see the bottom. That's why I like the foot at the bottom. I'm going to set that like that. This one has the thing on the top. If you do these before you put them in the refrigerator, it makes life, see that? That could possibly start leaking. And I don't want it to. So just lightly cover it. That's a good one, see? It is completely sealed, most of it. Usually that has a thin lining, but if it got poked fought by something, it would leak. That one's good. See? That's why I like the bigger bottom, because I don't have to worry about it. And if you're not sure, wipe it. If it wipes away, it's a small pinprick. And I'll just put that in there. Oopsie, that one, that one's a big one. You just fill that in. That would have definitely started leaking. That one's good. There's nothing wrong with that one. That one's another good one. And that's what I do. I just inspect them. And then I put them in here so they can marry together. Because that's what I want them to do. And in about two weeks, they'll be ready to eat. Or whenever I bring them out. And I stick them in the back. Or I have a drawer down there that I um, put stuff in. And I'll put them in the drawer and just forget about them. Well, I thank you for joining me on Sunday Special Sweets. And I'll see you next week when I'm making peanut butter fudge. This is a wonderful recipe. It's easy, five minutes cooking after it starts to boil on the stove. It's done, it sets up. It's the best fudge I have ever had. We'll see you next week on Sunday Special Sweets. Bye everybody.